A taxi operator is dead and dozens of people are homeless following a gun and arson attack in Gregory Park, St. Catherine, on Saturday morning. The deceased has been identified as 28-year-old Rainiel Houghton, otherwise called Rum Punch, of a Walker's Avenue address in the community. Information reaching the media is that about 3.50 a.m., Houghton and Friend were sitting on a car on Walker's Avenue when shots rang out. They ran in a bid to escape, during which Houghton sustained gunshot wounds to his upper body and right arm and collapsed. Shortly after, a group of men armed with rifles and handguns then made their way to where the fire victims were asleep. They reportedly threw gas oil on the houses, then set them ablaze and opened gunfire, which awoke the occupants of the households. While the occupants were escaping from the burning buildings, the gunmen opened fire at them and they had to retreat inside the burning houses, resulting in a complainant sustaining burns all over her body. The shooters then escaped in the area on foot. The police were summoned and both victims were taken to the Spanish Town Hospital, where Houghton was pronounced dead on arrival while the woman was admitted in serious condition. The Water Ford and Spanish Town Fire Department visited the scene and managed to extinguish the blaze. We can confirm that sometime after four today, there was an incident at an address at Walker's Avenue in Portmore, St. Catherine, where an address which comprises a number of small dwelling houses, approximately 11, um, built from wooden structure, were destroyed by fire. The information so far that a group of men went there and they firebombed one of the houses, and based on the structure, they're all wooden structure, the other houses um, were also affected by the fire. A total of eight of them were totally destroyed in the fire and another three partially destroyed. No one was injured in the fire. It was also reported to the investigators that when the men were leaving, at least one of them discharged their weapon and a taxi man who was in the vicinity he received injuries. He was taken to hospital where he died. So the investigators now are now there trying to ascertain who are the personal persons responsible for this incident. And they have since increased the presence in the area because um, they are trying to prevent any reoccurrence or continuation of what happened earlier this morning. And they will remain in place until they are satisfied that um, this, it is safe enough for them to withdraw the resources. A man was killed on Friday afternoon after a trailer overturned outside the gates of the Grace Kennedy Distribution Center in St. Catherine. Grace Kennedy confirmed in a media release on Friday that the accident took place at approximately 2.15 p.m. It said the accident involved a trailer with a 20-foot container and a private motor vehicle. No one else was injured in the incident. The Jamaica Constabulary Force and Jamaica Fire Brigade were reportedly quick on the scene. An AR-15 assault rifle was seized by members of the Westmoreland Proactive Investigation Unit at Barracks Road in Savannah Lamar, better known as Gully Banks. 
This is a part of surge operations that began on Tuesday, August 8, that aims to curtail crime, capture wanted men, and seize firearms. This is the fourth rifle to be seized in the community since the start of the operation. Parents are being warned to be on the lookout for a trend that scammers are using to fleece unsuspecting Jamaicans of funds, especially with the approach of the back-to-school season. The National Commercial Bank, in a post on their social media page, said the scam targets parents interested in scholarships or student loans. As we approach the back-to-school season, we want to highlight an important issue, scholarship and student loan scams. Fraudsters often target students and parents offering guaranteed scholarships or low-interest loans, usually asking for a small fee, NCB officials said in the post. Some of the key warning signs to look out for are persons offering guaranteed scholarships or loans without vetting process. Authentic providers typically do not guarantee funds before an application process. Any entity promising this is possibly fraudulent. The post from the bank stated, another practice to look out for is upfront fees. Legitimate scholarship foundations and loan providers are not likely to ask for money up front. Fees for processing insurance or paperwork may be indicators of a scam. The post outlined, watch out for emails or messages asking for personal information to process scholarships of loans. These could be attempts to steal an individual's identity. Scholarships and loans do not usually require any upfront fees. Always question any request for payment. Confirm the legitimacy of the provider. Research them online, look for reviews, and verify their contact information, the bank post stated. U.S. President Joe Biden on Friday announced the appointment of C. Kirabo Jackson as a member of his Council of Economic Advisors. Jackson, whose father Clement was the first director of the Planning Institute of Jamaica, spent part of his childhood in Jamaica, where he attended Hillel Prep. His mother, June Jackson, a native of Trinidad and Tobago, was a lecturer at the University of Technology. According to a release issued by the White House, Jackson is the Abraham Harris Professor of Education and Social Policy at Northwestern University. He is also a professor of economics, a fellow at the Institute for Policy Research and a faculty research fellow at the National Bureau of Economic Research. Currently, Jackson serves as the editor-in-chief of the American Economic Journal, Economic Policy. Jackson earned his bachelor's in ethics, politics, and economics from Yale University and obtained his Ph.D. in economics from Harvard University. According to the White House, Jackson's research interests include labor economics, public finance, and applied econometrics with a focus on the economics of education. His research has explored the role of teachers in the K-12 system, the causal impact of public school spending on students, methods to measure impacts on students' socio-emotional skills, and other education-related subjects. In 2020, Jackson was elected to the National Academy of Education and received the David N. Kershaw Award from the Association for Public Policy Analysis and Management in recognition of his contributions to the field of public policy analysis and management. In 2022, Jackson was elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, an honor that celebrates excellence and leadership across various disciplines and practices, the White House said in the release. The Council of Economic Advisors is an agency within the executive office of the U.S. president. It is charged with offering the president objective economic advice on the formulation of both domestic and international policy, according to the White House's website. He was previously co-editor for the American Economic Journal, Economic Policy, and the Journal of Human Resources, according to the release. Two-time Grammy-nominated reggae artiste Etana has indicated that she has no interest in working with established Jamaican-owned record label VP Records with whom she is embroiled in a multi-million dollar lawsuit over alleged breach of contract and copyright infringement. Etana, whose birth name is Shauna McKenzie, gave the clear indication in a post to social media Thursday, in which she shared a screenshot of an email from VP artists and repertoire A&R representative Richard Shams Brown, inviting the singer 
to record a single for an upcoming Christmas project the label is working on. In the post to her official Instagram page, Itana likened the action by Brown to the transatlantic slave trade when Africans sold their own to the white slave masters. In the email requesting Etana's involvement in the project, Brown, an established producer, acknowledged issues between the singer and VP records, but indicated nothing tried, nothing done. Following Etana's response, Brown took she's to the out. comments she's section under Etana's post and sought to clarify that he acted independently in his request. He went on to state that he loves and respects the entertainer's talent and that he never expected her to react the way she did. In January 2022, Etana filed a lawsuit against New York-based VP, which distributed four albums for Etana, starting with The Strong One in 2008 and ending with At Rise in 2014, citing several royalty-related claims. However, in December 2022, a New York judge dismissed nine of Etana's 14 claims. The singer filed an amended lawsuit in January seeking more than U.S. $10 million in damages. As Jamaica is nearing the end of the mango season, mango lovers are trying to eat all they can before the juicy, creamy fruits disappears from the trees and the street vendors whether you enjoy eating long mango, black mango number 11, or any other type, here are some health benefits of the tasty fruit. Mangoes, often hailed as the king of fruits, not only tantalize our taste buds with their sweet and juicy flavor, but also offer a plethora of health benefits that contribute to overall well-being. From boosting immunity to supporting digestion, these tropical delights have earned their reputation as a nutritional powerhouse. Mangoes are rich in vitamin C, an essential nutrient known for its immune-boosting properties. Consuming mangoes can help strengthen your body's defense against infections and promote a healthy immune system. These vibrant fruits are loaded with antioxidants like beta-carotene and other compounds that help combat oxidative stress and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Mangoes contain dietary fiber and enzymes like amylases, which aid in digestion. Including mangoes in your diet can help alleviate digestive issues and promote a healthy gut. The high content of vitamin A in mangoes supports vision health and may reduce the risk of age-related macular degeneration. Mangoes are a source of vitamins and antioxidants that contribute to healthy, glowing skin. They can help improve complexion, fight acne, and slow down the aging process. Despite being sweet, mangoes have alkalizing effects on the body, helping to maintain a balanced pH level. Mangoes contain potassium, which supports heart health by helping to regulate blood pressure and reducing the risk of heart disease, while mangoes offer an array of health benefits. Individuals with diabetes need to be mindful of their carbohydrate intake. Mangoes contain natural sugars and carbohydrates, which can affect blood sugar levels. Here's what you need to consider if you have diabetes. Enjoy mangoes in controlled portions to avoid rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. A small serving can provide the desired flavor and nutrients without causing drastic changes in glucose levels. Combining mangoes with a source of protein or fiber can help slow down the absorption of sugars and mitigate their impact on blood sugar. Keep a close eye on your blood sugar levels after consuming mangoes. This will help you understand how your body responds and adjust your diet accordingly. Opt for fresh ripe mangoes over processed mango products as they tend to have higher fiber content and a lower glycemic index. In conclusion, mangoes can be a delightful and nutritious addition to a balanced diet. For individuals with diabetes, careful portion control and mindful eating practices are essential to enjoy the health benefits of mangoes without compromising blood sugar levels. As with any dietary considerations, it's advisable to consult a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to tailor your diet to your specific health needs.